Welcome to Zoological World today we are discuss about horsefly. When a mosquito bites a person, they sometimes don't notice until they start to itch. There's no such subtlety in the bite of the horsefly. Her mouth parts are rather like a Swiss army knife, and she seems to use all the parts at once to get to the blood meal she needs. Like the male mosquito, the male horsefly doesn't have biting mouth parts and is pleased to sip nectar and other plant liquids. Though the horsefly, like the mosquito, is one of those insect pests ripe for extermination, the extermination of such an abundant and tenacious species does not seem feasible at the moment. Incredible horsefly facts. The horsefly's bite is not only painful but can spread diseases such as anthrax. A horsefly larva has a siphon at the end of its body that allows it to breathe air if it lives in water. The horsefly larva also bites, hard. Horseflies only bite during the day and especially on days that are calm and sunny. The horsefly is the fastest flying insect, and the fastest horsefly on record was clocked at 90 miles per hour. Horsefly scientific name. Horseflies belong to the Tabanus genus, and there are over 1300 species and hundreds of subspecies. Tabanus was used by the ancient Roman scholar Pliny the Younger as a name for the animal and is now the name for the genus. T. Americanus is the American horsefly. It is, as its specific epithet suggests, found in the United States and Canada, from Kansas to New Hampshire and from Florida to Texas. It is also found in Ontario. It is between 0.87 and 1.06 inches long and is the largest of the tabanids. T. Atratus is also found in the continental U.S. also known as the black horsefly. Its epithet comes from the Latin word for dull black. Other horseflies include T. catenatus T. gladiator T. deramon T. T. nigrapes T. acrogster T. tuberculatus T. proximus T. egeri T. quinquivitatus T. fairchildi T. indistinctus T. zythicolor T. xanthogaster horsefly appearance. Horseflies are what are called true flies. That means they only have one pair of wings and have balancing haltiers right behind the base of their wings. Haltiers are a reason that horseflies can be rather acrobatic in flight. Horsefly behavior. Most horseflies don't fly very far away from where they were born, though some can fly over 40 miles away. When they rest they can be found in the middle of the road, on a path, or in low-hanging foliage. Since the insects are diurnal, they don't bite at night, and they bite less on cloudy, cool, and windy days. They are attracted to lights such as porch lights and can sometimes gather in groups to fly around them. One good thing about horseflies is that they don't enter houses, barns or other buildings to get a meal. Most horseflies aim for the prey's legs, ankles, or the backs of their knees, though deerflies prefer the nape of the neck, the head, and the shoulders. Some scientists believe that the fine stripes on a zebra's lower legs evolved to confuse horseflies. Horsefly habitat. Horseflies are found in most habitats around the world save those that have extremes of temperature or habitats that are dry. It does need to lay its eggs near bodies of water or in environments that are moist, and it needs a habitat that has enough animals to provide protein for the female. Horsefly population. Given there are over a thousand species and subspecies of horsefly, it is safe to say that they are abundant and in no danger of extinction. Attempts at extermination are futile. Indeed, humans have tried for millennia to control horseflies, and success is limited. Insecticides simply can't be used where horseflies and their larvae live because insecticides damage the environment. Even treatment with insect repellents that deter mosquitoes doesn't work as well against a determined horsefly. People can release parasitic wasps into areas where the horseflies are found or use a trap such as a malaise trap that uses carbon dioxide or a manitoba trap.